Welcome back for another favourites video. What are you drinking? I'm drinking some after dinner mint chocolate tea by NYX Tea Irish Brew. It says relax and enjoy which is what I want to tell you all to do because I didn't have a favourites video last month. I'm sorry. Well, no, I shouldn't be sorry. I just I didn't have enough things uh, to share with you but this month I was able to gather enough things from February and March to make a kind of current favourites. Many of these are very sexy and some of them are <laughs> very non-sexy. So yes, this is a sexy and unsexy favourites video. Um, cheers, cheers to that and, and, and I'll start. This one is unsexy for the reason that it's in my favourites video. It's um, the Boots Sleep Ease Pillow Mist um, in lavender and it says a calming aroma to help relaxation before sleep. And um, I've just been brutally anxious lately and I know why and I'm managing it, but it's 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 not good. I did go into it a little bit in my monthly vlog, but uh, it's silly, but I get really frustrated at myself when I slip back into an anxious bout after like a really good period because um, I feel like, oh yeah, I've conquered this. I'm on top of my shit. And then cut to me in the car with my family, thinking I'm dying and bawling and head out the window and all that. It's, uh, yeah, it's stress and me procrastinating leading to me being more stressed because I have so much to do. But at uh, this stuff, it's just lovely. I spray it on my pillow here before I go to sleep. And um, I put even some onto my clothes, like my pajamas and stuff. I've always talked about how I associate lavender with calm. A lot of people do, but the main reason for me is when I had generalized anxiety disorder when I was younger, um, which I definitely don't have that anymore, but yeah, I still, it pokes its head out, but um, yeah, my dad always used to get me lavender drops to like put all around the house and stuff. And ever since then, when I smell lavender, I instantly feel calmer. I'm able to breathe better, which is so important to stop yourself from hyperventilating or just from feeling like you're going to suffocate. Uh, I always usually start yawning an awful lot when it's coming on and my breathing goes all out of sync and stuff, but something about lavender brings me back to earth um, and I, just thought I would share that in case any of you are looking for a little something something to associate with calmness. Even when I'm not anxious I spray this all over the place because then during those calm times I'm associating the smell with that feeling of being okay. On to a sexy fave. This is something that I absolutely love and now I don't really watch any makeup or YouTube stuff anymore. Like I don't follow people who do the kind of makeup that I would never be able to do. I tend to just watch chatty, get ready with me kind of videos and things like that. I watch YouTubers for the person rather than them makeup skills, if you get me. So I'm sorry if everyone already has gone on about these and I'm just late to the party, but oh my God. I tried out these and blown away. They're the EX1, I hope that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Delete Fluid Concealer, full cover. And this is the shade one and two because both of these I can kind of use and depends like if I am wearing any tan which I'm obviously not now I'll wear the two but I'm a natural collection concealer girl also like NARS just any kind of thick creamy heavy full coverage concealer for under the eye area and stuff like that I love and for areas of hyperpigmentation and things but like oh my god these are so so good they blend out beautifully and they lighten up under my eyes so much, I am wearing them now. The back says, a highly pigmented full coverage concealer that instantly covers blemishes and imperfections. And they really do, they stay for ages as well. Um, something I've been using to help my makeup stay is both of these things. These are from Urban Decay and they're kind of like a primer spray and then a setting spray. The Rebound Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Firming, smoothing and radiance boosting. I'll put this on before I put my makeup on, right? So obviously before I do concealer and all as well. And then when I've put everything else on, so concealer, foundation, and then blush or highlight or whatever else I want to put on. I'll go in with the All Nighter Pollution Protection Makeup Set and Spray Environmental Defense. Together, these have been making my makeup look so much nicer and I have been getting some really nice comments from you about my makeup recently and stuff. I do think it just sits better 
with these, I've noticed a difference in how much longer it lasts on my face and how much better it looks up close, if that makes any sense. Um, the one I put on before my makeup has botanical extracts of chia seed and a bunch of other moisturizers and stuff to like tighten the look of the skin. This one, it says it acts as a protective barrier and I'm not too sure now how different this would be from say like other setting sprays that I've used or anything like that. I just definitely notice my makeup lasting on my face longer. Um, in a, You know, in and around the nose area and all, when you like get up close to a mirror and you see it's all melty during the day, that hasn't been happening as much when I wear this. I have two hair things. One is sexy and one is kind of not that sexy, but uh, the Moroccan oil treatment. Um, so I have been using this combined with hair vitamins. I take um, vitamins containing biotin and all the stuff that your hair needs to grow. And I use this when I've wet my hair, like washed and conditioned it, and then I'll put a couple of pumps of this onto it while it's wet, and then blow dry it, and I also like finish off with a little touch of this. And my hair is growing so fast, I'm so delighted with the progress of it. Like you can, you'll probably notice if you look through my Instagram pictures, how much longer it's been getting, even just since the start of the year, it's mad. Obviously everyone's hair grows <laughs> from the root, but the key to making it long very quickly is keeping the lengths in good condition so it doesn't snap off as it grows. Because if it's grown out of the root, but then it's breaking and stuff here, and say if you're constantly getting trimmed, like too many trims, if that hair is damaged, you might as well trim it off. So like keep, keeping your actual hair healthy is so important. And then having all of the right stuff in, in your body and in your diet and in your vitamins and stuff to make it just look really nice when it comes out of your scalp. And I'm following my old tips from like really old hair videos I made when I had like really long hair when I started YouTube. It was down to near my belly button like um, at one point. And one of my own tips was not to dye it or to avoid dyeing it as much as possible. And uh, the problem is I made those videos when I was in my early 20s and now I'm in my late 20s. And girl is getting the odd grey hair. So yeah, like I was like, what am I meant to do? And then I saw someone talk about this in a video, so I went out and got some. It's the L'Oreal Paris Medium Iced Brown Instant Root Concealer Spray Magic Retouch. <laughs> Temporary grey covered and it lasts until it's washed out. And I just like I don't have many. I'm you know, I'm not gonna exaggerate around, but there's definitely like a good few in and around here and all. And um when they're annoying me, I'll just spray kind of some of this in and around. It's almost like painting your hair a little bit. Um, it's like a little temporary dye, but yeah, it dries quickly. There's no transfer, so like I never notice it going onto my clothes or anything like that. Um, Grey hair, woo! Here's a skincare thing actually, and now don't mind, it's kind of covered in like bits of toothpaste and stuff because I am a messy bitch in the bathroom but it's the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic with 5% glycolic acid. It's an exfoliating toner. They sent this out to me um, and I didn't want to mention it until I'd been using it for quite a, a good while. They even put my name on there. It's so cute. Uh, but every skincare expert I follow online has raved about this product and you know the way it's called Glow Tonic? It really is a glow tonic. My face glows. I use this and I use the Boots Your Good Skin skincare, which I have shown you in other videos, but I just added this in because um, I wasn't really using the toner from that range. Just never got into the habit of it, but um, yeah, I use this like once a day, cotton swab after I wash my face and before moisturizing in serum or whatever, but oh, it's so good. The back reads, Gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells, revealing healthy glowing skin for all skin types. Um, but yeah, what I've been told by the likes of Caroline Hirons and all the skincare goddesses of the internet is that glycolic acid is a yes for, you know, youthful, healthy looking skin. And two body products, seeing as we're coming kind of into spring and summer when we're wearing a bit less clothes, so I'm kind of paying a bit more attention to the skin on my body. I bought this in Boots and I love using it so much I can't I can't express it. You'd have to almost be sitting there watching me while I'm in the bath and just seeing my face light up. It's the Sanctuary Spa Hot Sugar Scrub self-heating, cleaning and nourishing with kaolin clay and sugar granules. It has a long-lasting fragrance in it too, but basically you dip your hand into it right, and even as you dip your hand in, it's so pleasurable just dipping your fingers into it right. That's the first thing. Then you rub it into a patch of your body where it's like a tiny bit wet and it heats up really, really quick. So like it gets really hot almost the way like hot wax feels on your body, but it cools fairly quickly. Um, 
and it you can really feel it working it's not too abrasive or anything like that but it just makes my skin so soft and the smell stays on my skin as well so I've been loving using this um I wouldn't use this if I was standing under the shower and because it's just gonna wash all down the drain so say like if you're in the bath or just stand away from the shower if you only have a shower and you don't have a bath um and then I got this even though I use coconut oil as a body moisturizer I like putting a bit of this on top just for the scent because it reminds me being a teenager it's by Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter Moisturiser. This is such a classic, like, but it does really remind me of, like, holidays I went on when I was a teenager and stuff. Oh, it doesn't describe the smell anywhere on the tub, and I'm really bad, I'm really bad at describing smells. And now on to some unsexy things. Oh, right, so if you watched my February monthly vlog when I was in Spain with my boyfriend, you will know that I was suffering with pretty bad constipation um and I've had this problem throughout my life if I don't eat enough fiber when I was a kid a few times I was literally taken into hospital because I couldn't poo I just could not poo and they'd give me laxatives and stuff and you know it's it's really really dangerous I have a granny who died from like bowel cancer and stuff like that and there's a lot of problems like bowel problems run in my family so it's not a nice thing to talk about or think about or or indeed to experience. Having extremely bad constipation can literally rip your inside bum. Not nice. Eat your fucking fibre, people, okay? Thomas was literally going and getting me orange juice and strong coffees and everything just to try and help me to go. I was... It throws you off when you're not working on the inside so a I've been taking a probiotic which is really helping Um, I was on an antibiotic for a urinary tract infection there as well this month which again just makes everything worse but anyway fiber these are my favorite two fibery food items that I've had this month right these two and all my millennial basic bitches are gonna feel me with this one ripe and ready Zilla eggs six mini avocados they sell these in Tesco and look it's like a little egg box with like little egg size avocados and it's a perfect portion for like a piece of toast or something like that. One little mini one of these has six grams of fiber which is so good and also I love this. I know like a bowl of it has six grams of sugar but Jesus not nearly that bad of like compared to like the amount of sugar I used to eat. I do add a little bit of stevia onto this because it doesn't taste really that sweet but it's the Kellogg's Super Grains Granola Cocoa Cashew Almond and Spelt. And um, this is lovely. I eat it with coconut milk um, for like breakfast or for a snack. It has oats, barley, sunflower seeds, nuts. The cocoa powder gives it a chocolatey taste as well. Um, so yeah, adding those into my diet. Because when I was in Spain, the canteen food was not the best. It was a lot of kind of beige, fried, oily, white things that were not helping my body. Two more things that I have been loving. One is a YouTube channel called Just... What was that noise? <laughs> One is a YouTube channel called Just Write and a lot of you know I'm writing a fiction book right now called If Only, more details to come, but it's, it's gonna be out next year and it's a massive task. You know, I've always kind of just written casually and stuff and I've never written anything in this genre before, but this YouTube channel explores storytelling in a really interesting way. The videos are so well put together with like shots and voiceover. Looks at a lot of like fantasy shows and movies that I really like. Um, if you're looking for a channel to get you into a creative mood, I definitely recommend that and I'll link it down below. And then also I got so excited this month over Bo Burnham's movie trailer. Bo Burnham is a comedian. I'm sure a lot of you will have seen his stand-ups on Netflix and like I think they're on YouTube as well. He used to do Vine and stuff years ago, but I'm obsessed people like. Is there anything better than pussy? Yes, a really good book. My friend Hannah Witten and I rewatch his Make Happy stand up so many times. It's genius. He's, he's just so talented. But anyway, his first movie, like his directorial debut, I believe he wrote it as well. I just looked it up, he did write it. But um, yeah, the movie's called Eighth Grade. It's about a girl who struggles to finish her last week of classes before embarking for high school. Hey guys, uh, it's Kayla back with another video. So. The topic of today's video is being yourself. Being yourself is like not changing yourself to impress someone else. A lot of people like call me quiet or shy or whatever. 
but I'm not quiet. Most quiet. The way the trailer was edited gave me a nerdgasm. I'm so excited to see it and I just kind of wanted to hype that up a little bit. I do get really excited when there's something I'm like looking forward to. It's had great critical praise so far. But yeah, that is my current favorites and please thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it and if you um if you'd like me to do these more regularly even if I don't have that many things in them. I kind of prefer doing longer chatty videos though but uh I have to go and get a plane now over to London to see my friends so I'll see you again very soon and um thanks for watching.